Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest, find the string with LCP. The problem states that you are given a n cross n matrix LCP where LCP i of j denotes the longest common prefix between the substrings word i of i to n minus 1 and word j to n minus 1. So basically LCP i of j is the longest common substring of the string starting at i and j. Now given this LCP, we need to return the alphabetically smallest string word that can correspond to the given LCP. If we can't, if we don't find this word, we need to return an empty string, right? So given LCP, find a word, otherwise return an empty step. That's the problem. Now, the, you can uh, walk yourself in this uh, problem statement ABAB would satisfy this LCP and there is no other string other lexicographically smaller string than ABAB which can satisfy this given string so hence ABAB is the answer so hope the problem statement is clear now how to solve this so let's take an example let's say this is uh, a given this is a given matrix and we need to find out uh, the string of length 7 right now, notice that we need to find out the alphabetically smallest string. So we can always start first character with A because uh, there is no point starting first character with any other character apart from A, right? Now, what should be the second character? So for this, what we can do, we can just try to find which, which character is equals to this character before this right so we have already filled all the characters before first character we can simply find out whether this character is equals to one of these previous characters or it is a completely new character right so how to find out whether this is a this is equals to previous characters or not so let's try to find out the lcp of this string right string starting at 1 and this string string starting at 0 right so if lcp is greater than 1 it means this character and this character the starting character of both the string are equal right if lcp is greater than 1 then starting character is both the starting character is equal so that's where that's what we will do we will look at lcp of 1 0 or 0 1 both are equal so lcp of 1 0 this is the LCP right and here it is 0 it means that the substring which starts at 1 and substring which starts at 0 they don't share a prefix at all which means this character would never be equals to the 0th characters right so hence we show that first character is not equals to a so what is the best possible second character best possible second character is b because we need again we need to find the lexicographically smallest one right so second first the, the next character is b now let's try to fill the next one again the same technique we will look at if this character is equals to any of the previous character or not if it is equals we will just equate it otherwise we will uh, try to fill it with a new character so how to how to know that whether this like which of these characters are equal so let's again try the same technique let's try to see the lcp of this string and this string right so lcp of 2 and 0 or 0 or 2 so lcp of 2 and 0 which is this right so this is 0 it means that these two prefix doesn't share any character Hence, uh, we can say that this character is not equals to A, right? Now, what about the B? We can again look at LCP of 2 comma 1 or 1 comma 2. So LCP of 2 comma 1 is again 0, right? So this again shows that the prefix which starts at 2 and the prefix with uh, the substring which starts at 1 doesn't share any character. It means that the character at 2 will not be equals to B as well. So what will be the character? It will be C, the next greater character. Now let's come to 3. 
uh, for three as well we can do the same thing we can see whether three is equals to a or not how to find lcp of three comma zero or zero comma three lcp of uh, three comma zero is again zero so this is not equals to a similarly lcp of three comma one is again zero so this is not equals to b as well lcp of three comma two is again zero right so it means it is not equals to c as well so we will just put it a new character right d now let's try to find the next lcp uh, let's try to find the next character so next character four now again the same technique let's see if uh, lcp of the substring starting at here matches with any of these lcp so let's lcp of four comma zero lcp of four comma zero which is two so what does it mean it means that four shares a common prefix of length two it means the first character of this string and first character of this string are equal so this string first character is a so this uh, this string character would be a as well right notice that we can simply fill b here as well but we don't need to right because we just want to fill the first character now let's look at the second one as well uh, let's look at the next character 5 LCP of 5 comma 0, it is 0, right? Now LCP of 5 comma 1, it is 1. So greater than 0. It means that the substring starting at here and substring starting at here, they both share something. So the first character of both of them must be equal. Hence this will be B, right? And if you similarly for 6, we can look at LCP of 6 comma 0, it is 0. So this is not equals to A, right? LCP of 6 comma uh, 6 comma 1 which is 0 again so it is not equal LCP of 6 comma 2 everything is 0 right so basically it is not equals to any of these so it will be equals to a new character E right so hope this entire algorithm is clear so what we have just done we have just simulated whatever we have been given and we just found out one string that satisfies uh, this matrix right now notice that we haven't iterated over all the cells right so notice that we have just iterated over a couple of them we haven't iterated over all of them right so because of this this string is just a possible candidate and this string may not be valid as well completely valid as well so what we just found out is whether the, like this string will satisfy some of the cells now either this string will be the answer or there is no other string possible right because if this string is not possible and let's say if there is some other string where this is f so if if instead of a here it will be f this string would for sure violate some of the cells because we filled a here based on the value of some of the cells here right so that's where either this string would be the answer or there is no answer at all so now what is the next step next step is to take this string calculate the lcp array again the valid lcp array based on this string and if that lcp array is equals to the given lcp array it means that this is a valid string otherwise there is no string possible right so now what is the problem statement the problem statement now is given a string calculate the lcp array right so now how to do this so i would strongly encourage you to pause the video right away and try to solve this particular problem yourself because this is a very standard problem and uh, you can you you might have solved this in many of the uh, contest by yourself so pause the video and give it a try so hope you have tried it now how to solve this notice that we have to fill this matrix so which of these cells can you fill without any issues uh, firstly like you can simply fill this cell right there is no issues there Sim uh, because this cell would be one for sure because it says that give me the common substring starting at n minus one and n minus one so basically common substring between a and a which should be a so this would be one now what about this cell this cell what did it say it says that 
गिव मी द कॉमन प्रिफिक्स बिटवीन द स्ट्रिंग स्टार्टिंग एट सेकेंड लास्ट करेक्टर एंड द स्ट्रिंग स्टार्टिंग एट द लास्ट करेक्टर सो इन अदर वर्ड इट सेज दैट गिव मी द कॉमन प्रिफिक्स बिटवीन दिस स्ट्रिंग एंड दिस स्ट्रिंग राइट सो वॉट कैन बी द आंसर आंसर कैन बी एट मैक्स वन एंड if it is one when this these two characters are equal when the character here and character here are equal right so this you can simply fill with either one or zero based on whether the characters are equal or not so in this particular case these two characters are not equal so it will be zero similarly you can fill this one what does this denote this denote that longest common prefix between this and this right so again same thing this would be either one or zero it would be one if the first characters are equal if uh, either or, or it will be zero because if first characters are not equal there is no common prefix at all so again here it would be one because a and a are equal and similarly you can fill this entire part and very like this entire part would also be filled because these two are just reflection of each other now once we have filled these parts which next cell you can fill this one so what does what does this denote this denotes that longest common prefix between the string starting at uh, n minus 1 or n minus 2 and other string which also starts at n minus 2 so this string the value would be 2 right because they both are equal string so which which of the next one you can fill you can try filling this one so this one you can fill because the value of this would the value of this would mean that longest common prefix between the string which starts at n minus 2 this one and longest common prefix with the string starts at n minus 3 which is this one right so between these two the longest common prefix you can calculate by simply looking at the first character again if the first characters are not equal it means longest common prefix is zero right but let's say if first characters are equal let's say it it was a if first characters are equal it means that now you need to find out longest common prefix in you can just ignore the first character of this and first character of this so now the question is find the longest common prefix between this uh, between the remaining string of the first one and the remaining string of the second one so the remaining string of the first one is uh, a a and the remaining string of the second one is a and this uh, you already know because you already calculated all of this part right so you already know the value of this cell so you can just simply do plus 1 here and get the value right now this would be possible only if the first two characters are equal like first character n minus 3 and n minus 2 are equal if they are not equal this would simply be zero if they are equal we can simply copy the value here and just add one here right so hope this solution makes sense so the pseudo code would look something like this so we will just fill the last columns right the last column and the last row and once we have done this for other cells we can simply look at whether si is equals to sj or not if they are then we can simply put 1 plus i plus lcp of i plus 1 j plus 1 right so hope this entire solution makes sense so just to reiterate what we have done we have simply uh, we have first figured out what can be a possible candidate and how we have done that we have just iterated over the first character we have iterated over character by character and for each character we just found out which of the what should be the possible value here or in other words which of the previous characters would satisfy uh, this particular character if uh, we found one such we can just fill it there if we don't found any such character it means that this character let's say we are filling up this character so if we found one such character which is equals to this character we can just fill it here otherwise we can just fill it with a new character and uh, which new character will fill we will fill the lowest possible new character because we want lowest possible string now once we found out this this particular candidate we can simply find the lcp for the uh, selected candidate if lcp array 
if LCP matrix is equals to the given LCP matrix, it means the given candidate or the target candidate that we are trying that we are evaluated is valid. Otherwise, there is no such possible string, right? So let's look at the code. The code is again straightforward. We fill everything with A initially. This is just uh, uh, for initialization. Now we start with i equals to one or the second character. Now we iterated over all the characters from zero to i minus one because we want to see we want to check which of the which of the previous characters is equals to the ith character. So we iterated over all of the previous characters. We check if LCP J of I is equals to zero. If they if it is equals to zero, it means we can't make this character as equal, right? If it is not, it means that we found one matching character. So if we found match one matching character, we'll just uh, convert this match to true and assign that character to result I, right? Now notice that the actual value doesn't matter as long as it is non-zero. It means the first character is matching. At least the first character is matching, right? We don't care about the rest of the prefix that are matching. So because first character is matching, we can just assign result of i to result of j and just break out from the loop. Now, if it if if uh, we have already found a match, we will not do anything. Otherwise, we will just find the first not equal character. If so, we are just iterated over all the characters and see which is not equal. And for that, we the one which is not uh, which which can be assigned the first character which can be assigned we can just assign it to the result of i and just break out right so after this loop all the positions of result is filled up right now as discussed we will find out the longest common prefix matrix for this particular result candidate and see if it is equal to the given lcp or not if it is equal we will return the result otherwise we will return an empty string basically no string is possible so coming to longest common prefix it is again very similar we will just fill out the last row and the last column first right and after that the value would simply be 1 plus result of i plus 1 and j plus 1 if s of i is equal to s of j otherwise it is 0 if the first character itself is not matching the longest common prefix is 0 right so the entire time complexity this this entire thing would run in order n square because we are iterating over each character and inside this we are also iterating over uh, all the previous characters right so this entire thing would run in order n square similarly this particular piece would also run in order n square so entire time complexity would be order n square right so hope this solution makes sense if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you're not already if you have any doubts, please post them in the comments below. I will do it to answer. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.